So, is it all worth it? Can plastic surgery make you happier, or will you end up regretting it? And are you thinking of having something done? And especially when you think about the times that we're in right now, where everybody, everybody's trying to make savings, is it really money well spent? Call me, 0500 909 693, text 85058. Natasha Devon is a plus-size model and also runs Body Gossip, which campaigns for natural beauty. Hi, Natasha. Hello. And Lizzie Cundy is a TV presenter. Hello, Lizzie. Hello. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Good. Natasha, let me come to you first. Are you opposed to plastic surgery then? Well, I mean, I think I want to make it clear before I say anything else that I don't judge individuals who take that decision to have plastic surgery. However, I think we have to look at it beyond the individual's choice, beyond ourselves, and look at the effect that it's having on us as a society. Um, you know, at Body Gossip, we're all about celebrating individual beauty, about people looking different and there being a spectrum of beauty. And how can that ever be when everybody's trying to conform to the same aesthetic? That's what concerns me. Lizzie, that's a fair point, isn't it? Because because, you know, it, it, we forget who we're meant to be ourselves and we're trying to be someone else which isn't us in a natural way. But can you tell me what is wrong if you're not happy with something in changing it? If it's going to make you feel better about yourself, give you more confidence. I know of someone that had such grief and was bullied about their nose, was so unhappy about it, had the bump removed and just felt so much better about herself and you know what it can change i'm not saying it's going to get you the man of your dreams or get you that job but if it makes you feel better about yourself and makes you be able to face the day and 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 not you know and if you've been teased or bullied you feel uncomfortable about something what's wrong with not going to see someone if but you what go kind of world do we live in lizzie where people are being bullied and teased because they have a bump on their nose we need to look beyond this kind of quick of fix course. culture I, and we need I to really address do. attitudes and, and people being able to accept what the things that make them different and unique yeah but there's no harm if you're not happy with something about yourself and and changing it and say the bump on your nose or I know a man that had his man boobs done I'm not talking about Simon Cowell by the way but he, <laughs> he did have this done and because he wouldn't take his t-shirt off on the beach he felt so uncomfortable and his wife said I love you as you are yeah, but it's you look but, wonderful but, but and if you're not happy it? then what's wrong and if you go to a reputable surgeon um, you know they will say whether it's the right thing to do yeah, or but, not but, but Lizzie just because somebody in the playground or somebody on telly or or, or a group of people say, say there's something wrong with man boobs or there's your, your nose is too big that's not that doesn't make it wrong does it it's, it's because it's society saying that and it enforces this need for a change but actually there's nothing wrong in having a, a big nose or having you know look, that, that's look just at Wayne Rooney okay I thought he was great before but he obviously didn't like having you know no hair at such a young age he's gone for the hair transplant what's wrong with that if it makes him feel better he's had a lot of stick about it you know but, but what kind of example is he it? setting to the millions of young men to whom he is a role model it's he's saying it's not enough to be talented it's not enough to be successful it's not enough to be wealthy no. and to, to excel in my field i have to have a full head of hair as well what kind of insecurities is he um you know passing down to a generation of young men by you doing that? Like that that's the individual choice so you're taking away the choice of i said we have to think beyond to the individual and look at what we're doing to society I will defend to my last breath people's right to look however they want well, to look. Go. But when they have, have to have want to make that choice. Head. It has to be the it has to be what they want to look like, exactly. not what they're told okay. they should right. look like. Individual choice, and I think that's where you're missing the point. If people aren't happy, and do you know what? It may be society. I know, you know, we all don't want to look the same. I agree with you, and, it, and I think we should celebrate being individuals. But if someone is so unhappy with with something about that, they can easily change and they can go to a reputable surgeon that can do it for them and they can have you know feel better about life what is wrong with that okay that okay just, just hold on there both lizzie thank you natasha stay, stay with us i mm -hmm. uh, would love to hear from people at home here oh, oh 500 909 693 the question we're asking is plastic surgery money well spent just to give you a couple of stats over the last year last year 38,200 cosmetic operations were carried out boob jobs are still the most popular procedure just over 9,000 gone up by 10 percent facelift the third most popular numbers are still rising even in the recession women had 34,000 procedures but don't forget about men uh, male surgery as well remained uh, rather high with a seven percent rise overall in the last year uh, man boobs is, uh, is something that happens as well as um, 
brow lifts and male nose jobs. 0500 909 693, text 85058. Uh, but, Natasha, where do you draw the line then? Because, it, I mean, it could have been a situation that we're still talking about plastic surgery as if it's a recent phenomenon, but I imagine there was a time when women started wearing makeup or dressing in a certain way. And well, why are you wearing makeup? Why are you having your hair like that? It's just to keep it natural. So, yeah. aren't you just drawing the line at a different place through someone else? Yes, I am, because um, you can wash makeup off at the end of the day. Is anything that's not reversible and anything that yeah, carries still with a, it a serious but, health risk. But isn't and there still a social sort of demand? I mean, I, I, you know, I, I wonder whether there's women who would rather not wear makeup but feel mm. because they've because everyone else is, they've got to go into work looking a certain way. Well, they'd rather just look, look, look completely natural. Yeah, I mean, what worries me is because attitudes are changing. You are absolutely right. And, and part of Body Gossip, we go into schools and we teach self-esteem to teenagers between 14 and 18. I have 14-year-old girls telling me that they're saving up for a boob job. They don't even know what their bodies are going to look like when they've grown into their adult bodies. It's the expectation. Plastic surgery has become so normalised. I worry that in 50 years down the line, it's going to be seen as part of our grooming routine. It's going to be abnormal not to have had but surgery. I interrupt you, Dale. Um, if they are a reputable surgeon, they will not even consider doing any surgery on a girl that is 14, 15, 16, yeah, but, like you're saying. But, and they won't do it. But, Lizzie, but the fact that she's saving up for it, even if she's not planning on getting it done yet, I mean, you know, she's thinking in, in sometime in the future, but isn't that a worry that a 14-year-old girl is of thinking about saving money for a boob yes, job? Of course, I totally agree, and I'm totally against anyone, you know, that is wanting to have anything done at that age. They're still children, they're growing up, and you, you, you know, as a parent, you would say to your child, look, you know, you you get developed, and but you have to go to a reputable surgeon. It's so important. Are you and I happen to be today because we're filming a makeover show we're at um at um a, a wonderful place where there was actually a girls have have rung up and asked to have you know just things like Botox done. And, they, you know, it is that face and um, fabulous face and body, which is amazing. And do you know what? The guy said, no way. I wouldn't even go near, you know, that you have to do your homework and find a reputable surgeon. There is no way. I totally agree with, with some of the points you're making. But there is nothing wrong if you want to change something about yourself. And you've done your homework. You feel very unhappy about it. It's making your life a misery than going to have but that change. Let's, OK, I mean, let, let, you both talked about you know, the, the need to stay individual but but Lizzie in, in your profession for example as a TV presenter and I know this working in, in TV and you know and you speak to other women in television there is now a pressure isn't there there's a pressure to, yeah, to have is. Botox done if you don't if you don't have Botox done you're probably not gonna get a TV gig <laughs> your nose is too big or you know you've got to get your teeth whitened. I, I, mean, I wouldn't go that far but well, yeah, well, well, well there is I, I know women you know. who think like that in work well I've, I've got to look a certain way else I'm not gonna get that job so yeah, of course, isn't yeah, that a problem? Have their teeth whitened they don't want to look at, you know, dark yellow stained teeth. They, want, they go and have the teeth white and maybe have Botox and they've got that frown. But is it such a big deal? Should we be going into schools also thinking about how to be a better person, what we can bring into society? Mm -hmm. If we are now, you know, if someone is that unhappy with something about themselves and they want to go and see a reputable surgeon to have that change, is it really that bad? Well, you're in a very privileged position, choice. aren't you, Lizzie, that you were able to go to a reputable surgeon. It's the desperation. People are going to backstreet butchers and having operations, medical procedures that go wrong because they think that they have to do this and that's they what I disagree with it's the no, expectation do you know what I'm feeling that you're thinking that people are being forced because they you know that people have their own you know I, I, as I said you know my friend's husband was was she was so happy the way he was but he was he wouldn't take his t-shirt off on the beach because of his man boob it was making him that unhappy now that was his choice you're going to take that choice it wasn't away? his choice though or was it he was told by our no. mad body it, image obsessed society that no. he had to look a certain way it's, it, it's the illusion of choice, Lizzie. It's not really choice. Is it, is, I mean, Lizzie, Lizzie would you accept that? Okay, no, no one's I forcing him. But, but, but uh, no one's forcing. Him, but indirectly, there may be some s social pressure. There's force from from society.
society because of the fact that he oh, look, thinks I'm... people are going to say something bad about his man boobs. Well, actually, there are some people who, who, who you know, who, who wouldn't feel that, wouldn't feel that they're being It's their individual choice and the way they look at themselves and the way mm. they feel about themselves. It's the same way as when you go out for a nice evening, you want to put on the nice dress or you want to put on, you know, a bit of lip, look good. You want to look and feel good about yourself. It can give you more confidence. I'm not saying it's going to give you that ideal job or find you the ideal man. 